Well, there'll be many people looking at this and they'll almost be hanging the gold medal around the American's neck, but they do have to get it through safe, three safe baton exchanges. And the French, I thought, were pretty good in qualifying yesterday. Tamara Mercier, Cynthia Leduc, Fanny Pelletier, Estelle Raffaille for France. Up against Tia Jones, Taylor Bennett, Kayla Harris, and Candace Hill. The Poles have got a bit of a chance as well. It's interesting to see Eva Svoboda, the silver medalist in the 100. She's out here, despite limping off after her qualifying heat yesterday in this event. Australia in lane three. Nicole Kay is on uh, anchor for them. Here is uh, Tamara Mercier of France. If there is to be a surprise, I reckon it might come from the French here. The Germans always so well drilled. Catherine Fame is on leadoff. Kesia Quaggio on two. Eleni Froman on three. Chantal Butsek on the anchor. Tia Jones in action again today has already made it through to tomorrow's final of the high hurdles. And they have the 100 metres champion on the anchor leg, Candace Hill. Andrea Verdu of Spain on leadoff. Ireland have got through to the final as well. Here's Molly Scott. She'll hand on to Charlene Maudsley, then Jinak for Moses and Kiara Neville on the anchor leg for Ireland and right on the outside. It is Ecuador. Maribel Caicedo is on the final leg for them and that is Marina Paroso. So, eight teams, eight batons. 24 baton exchanges between them. Will they all go smoothly? The Americans were, shall we say, a bit clunky yesterday. They got the job done. Will they do it well enough here to take the title? Poland in two, Australia three, France four, Germany five, United States six, Spain seven, Ireland eight, Ecuador in lane nine. Tia Jones, four from the outside. Well, she's already been hunted down by the German Katrine Firm insider. Let's see how the baton changes go here. Well, the batons have all been exchanged. Poland on the inside going strongly, but look at Germany here. Kesia Quaggio. Germany perhaps who lead from France. The Americans have the baton. Kayla Harris is running around the bend here. But the German insider, Froman, is up alongside her here. France also in with a real chance. Germany have the baton. So too do the Americans. And look at Candace Hill opening the stride and moving clear. And in the bat of an eyelid, the Americans won it. France have come through for silver. Germany bronze. Poland on the inside pick up fourth place. But the three medalists were away and clear. And once Candace Hill had got that baton and had less than three or four metres to make up, well, it was a foregone conclusion. Germany did absolutely nothing wrong at all. They looked delighted. But the Americans, well, they did just enough. Although I have to say, midway through that penultimate leg, they had to still make up two or three metres. Well, there you can see Candace Hill running back down to meet Kayla Hill. Not too many pattern dramas there. In stark contrast to uh, some of the hiccups we experienced in yesterday's heats. But the Americans, in the end, running away with that. 
and can they seal? Here is the uh, the first bat and change, and it wasn't the greatest first leg from Tia Jones for the United States. Bit of fumbling from the Germans, but they got the bat and exchanged, and it was the Germans moving well here. Also the Irish, Charlene Maudsley there, two from the left. She's already passed the athlete from Ecuador. Germany here, that's pretty good. So to the American bat and change. That was a smooth one from Taylor Bennett to Kayla Harris. And this is certainly where the race was won by the United States because they hung on there, did Kayla Harris, to Eleni Froman. And as long as Candace Hill got the baton, and it was a very smooth exchange from the Americans, Hill took it, and the sheer pickup over the next 30 is what wrapped it all up. And France coming through strongly, Estelle Rafai just getting past Chantal Butsek to pick up the silver medal. So America won, France two, Germany three, and then a long way back for fourth. And I said it was Poland, I think it probably still is Poland, isn't it? with Ireland coming through in fifth place. So that is the final track action here. And it is indeed confirmed that, that Poland just got fourth ahead of Ireland. But 43.69, the United States winning that final relay in the end with plenty in hand. So what a stunning day.